you doing? Hope you're fine. On the menu today, we're going to be making a fantastic, really delicious prawn curry. I've got, you know, some decent sized prawns we're using today. We've got a lovely tomato and coconut milk base. It is divine. Doesn't take that long. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. All right, let's have a look at what we've got here then. So prawns or shrimps. Now mine are quite hefty looking ones, quite big. You can do them with smaller ones. The process is exactly the same. Now these were frozen. Um, what I've done is I put them into some cold water for about five minutes, then drained them off. Here I've got two tomatoes, which I've liquidized, put in my food processor and turned them into a nice mush there. Here I've got onions. I've got two large onions. There's quite a lot of onions in this one. Again, put in my food processor, cut really nice and small. Curry leaves, fresh curry leaves. If you can get them, absolutely wonderful. If not, you might better get them dried. Chili, I've got about four or five, but you can play around with that. Tomato paste, it's like 135 grams or one of those kind of small, kind of little tetra pack things, you know. That's just gonna give it a nice deeper color. Here I've got two teaspoons turmeric, two teaspoons chili powder. Here I've got three teaspoons coriander, I want that to be a bigger flavor in there, and one teaspoon garam masala powder. One tablespoon of garlic ginger paste, and in here our whole seeds or whole garam masala. I've got some dried chili, some cinnamon, and some cumin seeds. Now I'm gonna put all of the amounts of everything in the text below. That's about it, let's start this off with some oil. Of course we're gonna be adding some salt, let's go. Okay, so here we are. I've got a pot here, I've got some oil in there. I'm using the sunflower oil. We're heating that up. You could be using a different oil if you want. We're gonna start off by dropping in our whole seeds or whole garam masala. So we've got a couple of dried chilies, some cinnamon stick, and a couple of teaspoons of cumin seeds. Just for a few seconds, let them do their thing. They will infuse the oil, give the oil a really nice flavor. Don't skip this part. It's an essential, an essential step. Just a few seconds they need. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in our onions. And our curry leaves, which can be noisy. I'm gonna cook this for about four to five minutes on a above medium heat. Wonderful stuff. Next up, I'm going to go with our tablespoon of garlic ginger paste, some salt, and our fresh chili. I'm going to go for another two minutes. Incredible aromas we're getting from this. Okay, now we're going to go with spices. So we've got two teaspoons chili, two teaspoons turmeric, in that goes. We've got three teaspoons coriander and one teaspoon garam masala. Garam masala you'd normally put at the end but I like it in the mix here. Just a little mix here for a few seconds. Then we're going to add our pureed fresh tomato. That tomato paste, like I said, that will just kind of help the color in there. Now we're gonna cook this for about six minutes. We really need to cook the tomatoes out here. And also it will give off a lot more moisture as it cooks down. Give it a stir every now and then. That is looking incredible. Okay, time for the star of the show. In they go. We're gonna cook these for about four minutes and then we've just got a couple more things to add and then this is done. Absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful stuff. Now what we're gonna do is add some coconut milk, which I didn't show you earlier at the beginning, but there's a bit of coconut milk in there. There's like 250 ml. That 
is fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Okay, lower the heat, let that go now for about five to six minutes on a nice gentle heat. And then we're just gonna add one more item to this. Delicious. Okay, and this is done. Absolutely wonderful. Check that for salt, it's gonna be fine for me. Off goes the heat. I'm gonna finish this off with some cilantro or coriander, whatever you call that, and some fresh mint, which is wonderful in there. Give that a mix and we're done. You've got yourself a really nice, beautiful prawn or shrimp, whatever you call that or whatever you're using, curry. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.